there. Up next, Wisconsin head coach Paul Christ as we head back to McCormick Place and Big Ten Football Media Days. A season including six on both offense and defense. Coach, go ahead with your opening statement. Thanks, Doug. Well, certainly uh, truly appreciative and, and proud to have this opportunity today to represent the University of Wisconsin and our football program and really on behalf of our Wisconsin football family would like to express our thoughts and prayers to the Foltz and Sadler families, their friends, and, and certainly the, the football families of, of Michigan State and Nebraska. And I thought Mike, you know, Riley, Sunday I was able to see, you know, when I'm talking about, you know, the impact that uh, Sam had on him. And I think that gets lost sometimes in, in all of this is that we as coaches certainly hope to and, and want to impact our student athletes, the players that we coach, but we really are impacted in so many different ways by the, the kids, the young men that we get to coach. And I think that's one of the great things about coaching. That's, uh, I, think it, I know it's what, what drives me and fuels me. And that's why I'm excited today for everyone to, that hasn't been able to meet and get to know the three players that we brought. You know, Vince Beagle, and you'll hear from Dari, Hogan Boali, and, and Sojourn Shelton, and, and uh, three, three young men that are uh, really proud of them being on their team and for me to be able to coach them, and, and guys that have impacted me, you know, in a, in a short time. And so I'm, I'm anxious for every one of you to, to get to know them. And, uh, and one of the things that you'll find from from our players and, and we've got three down here but but certainly our team is uh they are excited about the the opportunities uh that this year presents and probably the number one question that i've been getting and when i go have an opportunity to speak certainly in state is about the schedule and uh i know our players and, and coaches we're excited about the, the challenge of the schedule we have because that's a great opportunity and and so I've appreciated what the, the kids have done, the work that they've put in, and, and certainly looking forward to starting fall camp, uh, report August 7th, but get a chance to have our first practice, fall camp, and uh, August 8th. So with that, I'll take any questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll start coaching the back of the room on our right. J.P. Goodorn from Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Coach, this is the third time now that you guys have had that marquee game to open up your season this year at LSU. Do you notice some extra motivation or some extra juice from the players when they have that looming the first week of the year? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if I could say that I noticed a different. Last year we opened up with Alabama. Um, I do know that it's a, it's a heck of a way to start a season. And I think for a player in general that the opportunity to, you know, the first game is always an exciting uh, game. It's the, the start of a new season and, and there's been a lot of work. These, these young men put in so much time and to finally be able to play the season, that, that's a big deal. And then when you get to do it uh, at, at a stadium, in a stadium such as Lambeau Field, especially for a number of our, our players from in-state that, that grew up and, and probably dreamed of and envisioned uh, the opportunity to play in Lambeau, and then to do it against a, a really good opponent in LSU, it's, uh, it's the trifecta and our kids are excited about it. I don't know um, if it's more or less, uh, you know, we've been lucky. And I think, you know, I was thinking about this, and we talked about this with our players, that this game comes about because of the, the teams and the, and the players at Wisconsin have come before. You know, they've made Wisconsin um, a special place. I think that's why our kids chose to come to Wisconsin to play in big games, such as our opener or such as the games that, that we'll play in the, in the Big Ten schedule. So our kids are excited about it. Uh, I know that much. And um, it certainly does grab a, a player's attention uh, when you know you're playing a, against a heck of an opponent for your first game. The floor is open right now. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Coach, we'll take our next question on our left, third row. The microphone's coming. Yeah, Coach, uh, Andy Coppins, Madtown Badgers. Obviously, you have a new quarterback situation, Joel Stave. 
gone. Um, of the, uh, you, what do you see coming out of spring and summer with the two quarterbacks? Obviously, both of them with limited experience. Right. I'm sure there will be a lot of people that uh, thought Joel was at Wisconsin forever. But, uh, and I, I appreciate the chance to, to work with him last year. And, and yet I am excited about uh, Bart Houston and Alex Hornibrook. And you know, they've done a great job, I think, to this point of not worrying about the, the common question is, you know, who's going to be the starter and, and the quarterback competition, but just spending their time and, and trying to work on and, and uh, improving the, the things in their control. And they've done, they've done a great job this summer. And uh, I know our players respect who they are as, uh, as people, as teammates. And, you know, those two will get a ton of reps in fall camp and, and certainly I don't know when, but uh, we, you know, we'll name a starting quarterback. But, but I think our job uh, as coaches is to make sure that both of them are ready to play uh, and play well in the first game. And I think, uh, you know, for both of them, their job is to, to make sure they focus on being the best quarterback you can be. And uh, I've liked what they've done, um, certainly in the off season, uh, through spring ball and, and this summer. I think they've been... They've been really good, and I think it's given our players confidence in them. You know, Bart certainly had an opportunity to come in in, in the Illinois game and, and to play, uh, and I think that has, has helped him and kind of eased his uh, anxiety a little bit and also given him some confidence, and yet, um, you know, there's nothing like experience, and, and that experience, even in the short uh, time that he played, you know, knows that there's areas he can get better at, and, and, and I appreciate the way he's working about it, but uh, really enjoy and appreciate both those two and, and, and both need to be good for us. I think for us to be as good as we can this year. Coach, we'll take our next question all the way in the back left corner of the room. Coach Jason Jorgensen from the Rural Radio Network. Uh, statistically, uh, you were one of the best units last year on defense, but you've had some changes there. What's your thoughts on that group, and, and what are you looking forward to as you uh, head into this fall? Yeah, it was. Uh, I appreciate you know, and our defense was fun to watch last year, and, and as you mentioned, we've had uh, had changes. You know, lost uh, two coaches and, and lost uh, you know some really good football players. You know, Joe Schobert thought. Had a heck of a heck of a year. It was fun to watch, and, and uh, you know, lost three uh, three starters in the secondary. And yet, I'm excited about this group, and, and um, you know, I've appreciated uh, the chance to be able to work with Justin Wilcox, our new defensive coordinator, and I'd known a lot uh, about Justin for a, a number of years. Coached against him, and and I think it's helped in in uh, his the way that he's uh, transitioned, along with Jimmy Leonard, who. Uh, is also joining our coaching staff. Uh, our kids, they made an easy transition, I think, for our kids as far as how we're calling the defenses. And, and every year you're going to change, you, you know. And, and, you know, Vince Beagle, who's here and, and I think is, you know, certainly one of, if not our best player, one of our best players. And yet Vince is going to have a different role than he had last year. And we've got guys that, that played a lot of football last year that need to step into a new role. So I think change is is uh, always a part of uh, college football, certainly. But I think it's a part of everything. It's part of life. And uh, I'm excited to see our kids and, and coaches as we grow and adjust to each other. And, and certainly our defense last year, uh, they gave us a chance to be in a lot of games. And, uh, and I think that we value and, and our kids know what good defense is, what it should look like. You know, we'll be tested differently than we were last year. We play different teams. But uh, I like the way that they've come together and, and transitioned from a, a new defensive coordinator and, and new players stepping in. And, you know, I thought we've had to make great strides this summer. I, I think that we have, and, and certainly in fall camp, it'll be important for us to continue to grow and, and come together. But I'm excited about the pieces, and we've got some guys on defense that have played uh, a number of significant snaps, significant roles, and they've got to be great leaders, and we've got other players that need to step up and step into those roles, but that's kind of the, the fun of this whole process. The next question, Coach, is under the lights on our left. 
Hi, Coach. Eric Rogers with Wisconsin Sports Zone Network. Did you get a chance to hear any more explanation on the Jazz PV catch, non-catch against Northwestern, what you can expect in other situations going forward? Yeah, we, you know, the one thing that I thought that we've always had is, uh, and I've appreciated this when I was an assistant uh, here in the, in the Big Ten and, and certainly hasn't changed coming back and being head coach. We've got a great uh, conversation and, uh, you know, able to talk to, to Bill right away. And, and I think we do a good job of trying to explain to all the coaches and using any example, whether it's from our, our games, our Big Ten games, or, or from across the country. And, um, and that you appreciate as a coach. Our players appreciate that, knowing that, you know, we as a, you know, the officials, the, the conference, everyone wants to do this the right way, and they want to get it right. And um, you know what? I think the, the beautiful thing is in football. I mean, it's important to our players, and they love playing the game. And there's great lessons that come out of it. Some of them are good experiences. Some of them are through bad experiences. But, um, you know, Jazz spoke to our team about not the, what happened, but how he had to deal with it and respond from it. And, and you talk about an opportunity to grow. And that was for Jazz. And, and so I've, I've always appreciated the way that the, the football uh, coaches, players work with our officials. And we all want to get it right. And uh, I think we're always learning. And, and, um, and, and then you go forward. And how, how can you make good? And I, and I appreciate that our kids um, do the same thing. Coach, next question is all the way far left. Uh, hey, Coach. Uh, Zach Pearson with Reddit College Football. Uh, so you obviously have a lot of talent returning at the running back position with Corey and Dare and Taiwan. Uh, can you give us an idea of what uh, you expect that position to look like through the year or what, how you expect the offense to evolve? Yeah, that's, uh, there's a lot in that question. Um, you know, I appreciate what Dare was able to give us last year. And, and certainly Corey's year last year didn't go the way that he'd hoped, but I, I appreciate the way... Uh, that he's responded and that he's worked and, and hopefully um, learned those lessons to help him have the best year that he can this year. And, and Taiwan you know, was able to gain some valuable experience. And, and so I believe that we'll, uh, we've certainly got the opportunity to be better at the running back position and, uh, and to be deeper at that position. And, um, you know, it's our, our job to help them continue to grow with it. And, and, and I like the group. And, I like the, uh, you know, Alec Ingold and uh, had an opportunity to move Leon Jacobs over from defense. And so I think we've got a, a good group of, of players in the running back room. And, and I think for us to be good, that group has to be good. And, uh, and yet they're capable of that, certainly. All right, Coach, thank you very much. I right, appreciate it.